So this little tutorial is almost more for myself because I find Blender is not intuitive. It seems to be really hard to do obvious things. Now in this case I'm going to try and repeat what I did right here which is get text on a box that then moves as a social unit. Now this blue one arrow uh, moves up and down. This one near and far, left and right. So I'm just going to try and repeat that exercise where I, I create a box, uh, create some text, uh, make the text a child of the parent box, and then go, f um, and then say, I do know how to do this. Look, I could repeat myself. <clears throat> so there are a bunch of shortcuts. Uh, it's a shortcut kind of friendly program. So to add something, it's Shift A. And let's see, I said I want to do, um, do a cube, which is counts as a mesh. So we click on the cube. There's our cube. Great. Every time we see this arrow, we can move it around. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is scale it. We want to scale it so that the um, it's thin and long. Okay. So uh, if I want to make it thin, I'm going to scale it. And then I choose X, Y, or Z, and if it's X, you'll see the red one, and we'll make a smaller number, like 0.2 or something like that. So you do SX, scale only on the X, and look at that. Now we're going to hit, hit 0.2, and boom, we've got ourselves a little box. Now we want to make our box longer. Oh, and we want to make that <laughs> be committed. So we have to you hit the Enter key, and you know you've done it, because now you get the three arrows. That's the key. I've completed that action. I see my three arrows. Okay, so now I want to scale it along the green axis. Oh, and look, <laughs> I've only just noticed down here, it's the Y. So I'm going to scale Y because I want it to be long. I want it to be, uh, say, three, you know, three times as big. So that's S, Y, three. It's not done yet because I don't see my three arrows. I hit my enter key, boom. Okay, now I can move it back and forth, whatever, or near and far, whatever. Okay, great. So that's done. And now I gotta do text, which is its own bizarre thing. Well, it starts shift A. Oh, there's my mesh. No, 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 there's text right there. So you write text and it's like, what's it doing down there? <laughs> God, I hate that. I really don't like it. But I don't know how to uh, do things so well yet. So I'm going to rotate it, I guess, around the red one. And red, because I'm looking down here, is the x-axis. I'll do R, rotate, x, and then 90. Let's see if that works. R, x, 9, 0. Okay. That's not done because I don't see my three arrows. I hit my enter key. I got my three arrows. Now I want to rotate around blue. If I look down here. Blue is uh, Z. So we're going to rotate that 90 degrees. Let's do R. It's going to be RZ90. RZ90. Oh, great. Not done yet. Hit the enter key. There we go. Now we, we've got our arrows. So let's see how we are relative to this box. And we can see it. We can see it. Oh, there it disappears. So, so you just kind of do this bizarre little exercise of uh, trying to get it close to the surface. All right. So let's go over here. Let's. Uh, oh, we up and down with the blue guy. Boom. Okay, great. Uh, but we don't really want it to say text. That seems silly. So we go to um, edit mode. We're edit object mode, edit mode. And look, we've got a big dashy thing there. So we, crap, we can't even see anything as writing. So we'll write, um, what should we write? Uh, hamster. Hamster. Oh, uh, I didn't see anything. So, oops. So let me go back into object mode. All right, let me see if we can pull it forward a little bit. There. Okay, so that now it looks like a hamster. <coughs> and 
and let's see. We've got this. We want to now unify these two together. So um, it's selected, and we have to do a um, a control shift, and now click on the box. And I believe they're both selected. So I now do a control P, and object make that parent. Okay, now we hit the enter key to make sure this is really done. Let's hope so. Um, how, how do we really know if it's done? Um, oh, it doesn't look like it worked. To me. That doesn't look right. Um, see how I've got this long box, a cube, and the label? So if I click on this... I can now move it around. If I actually click on cube, then I could change, you know, the relationship uh, between the cube or the label. Uh, but now, now I'm like that. So you can kind of see that I've made this parent-child uh, relationship. Right now, I don't see I don't see my text of my new text. All right. So if I go, sorry, if I shift. Okay, so <clears throat> I am trying to see what object this is. Oh, no, maybe there it is. There it is. Oh, so I did make this. Okay, so I think whenever you're in this mode, you really need to um, come up with new names for things. So this is this I'll call uh, hamster. Okay, and um, and now I can move my hamster around, and um, play my game. Right, hamster, whatever. So that's it. All right. So that shows you how you can put text on a box uh, and shape it as you wish. Not very complicated, but I find Blender, as I say, very user hostile. So I need something as simple as this to know how to do it. All right. Thank you very much.